All right. This should be pretty quickly. Mostly because I've shown a lot of the enemies we're going to be fighting in here. There are some, like this bomb bomb that we have not seen. But I'll show how to take care of them in this fight. Because bomb bombs have a pretty unique uh, thing about them. I totally blocked that completely wrong. So, once you attack a bomb bomb, he's going to become red and try to blow up. And the next attack that he sustains will blow him up. Now the problem is whoever attacks him the second time will take damage from attacking him. So what you want to do is attack him, turn him red, and then use uh, Cooper here to attack him. Because he's in a shell, he doesn't take damage from him. But if Mario had done it or Goombario, then he would have taken damage. Thanks for the key. We continue on. I forgot how much health uh, bomb bombs actually have, like naturally, too. They might have 4 HP. It's really hard to kill them naturally, especially this early in the game, but there you go. And if somehow you uh, manage to get one of the bomb bombs red and they actually get their attack off, I think it does like 3 damage or something like that. Ah, let's see the great Mario get any further now. Eek. You, uh, don't try any. You'll still never find your way through this fortress. Uh, it looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting. See ya. Just maybe. Easy peasy. Now I know there's a... Yeah, this guy kind of shows you the secret there. That you can go against that back wall. Alright, so just like we saw that guy do, we're gonna slip back here. Bam! We get to power bounce. Jumps on one enemy continuously until you miss an action command. So this can be one of the most powerful badges in the game. Uh, if you use it correctly. Um. Forgot how much it needs. Two. Hmm. Okay, well, next time we level up, I'll definitely do badge points, and then we can take a second look at what badges we have. Okay. Easy peasy. Continuing onward. Alright. Releases a switch. I don't think there's anything at the top of these stairs. Yeah, no. Alright. I think this lowers them. Yeah. This will allow us to get to the, uh, Basement level, I guess you could say. Mm, a door here. I think there's stuff this way. Yeah. I think there's a key. But this is kind of like a challenge room. It throws a bunch of enemies at you, and you kind of have to beat them all. This can be, like, one of the hardest rooms in the game early on. Alright, we got it. Um, that room was incredibly challenging when I was a kid. I just remember that. I remember literally having playthroughs where I would die in this room. Just like unreasonably hard. Wow, we barely dodged that. Key. Oof. It's alright, we just lose one health for hitting those. Uh, not the end of the world. Okay, now let's see where this door leads. Oh, this leads to the prison. Couple of bombs in there. Nothing we can do about it now. But now we can unlock the door to the room that's above that. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Wow, looks like Mario's here. 
obviously a trap, but one that we have to walk into for the sake of a new party member. This is kind of like a halfway point in the dungeon, so it'll give you a safe spot. Pretty nice. I can't remember if there's any of the enemies in here or not. No, there's not. Away we go. Blech, loser. Serves you right. You fell for it. Literally. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wonder what just fell. But aren't you Mario? Never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a bomb mom. Pleased to meet you. Well, Bombette. We will need your help to get out of here. What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. At least to these guys. Those uncouth Koopa Bros. I was just one of many bomb moms working here. But those Koopa Bros, once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. Koopa Bros didn't like it, so they locked me in here. Then they locked up the rest of the bomb moms because they thought they might raise up. You know, a bomb mom rebellion? What do you think about that? Oh, sorry. It was a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we want to get out of here. You think you could help spring us from this place or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. Oh, how nice. We'll be good friends from now on. <laughs> Alright, so we got bomb at. Uh, press down C to make bomb at walk for a short time and then explode. She can destroy cracked walls or rocks and activate switches. While in battle, she can attack using body slam or damage enemies on the ground with her bomb attack. Um, Bombette has a couple of good uses in the game, but <laughs> unsurprisingly enough, she's not good against other bomb bombs. Uh, but if you can hit an enemy with her down C outside of battle, then you can get a first hit that I think does like two or three damage. So that could be pretty... Uh, that could be pretty crazy if you know what I'm saying. Escape route. Well, I guess I never thought about going doing that before. I was so mad I just blew up over and over in one place. Well, anyways, we can get out now, right? And so can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll tag along and help you out wherever I can. You just ask and I'll be there. Now enough chit-chat. I have a little score to settle with Cooper Bros. Don't we all? Well, now we're going to get a little bit of a tutorial fight for Bomat. Which sucks! Because... As you can see, there's bomb bombs in this fight. Now, Bomat, like I said, is not good against bomb bombs uh, because... She can either turn them red or take damage from them. But I guess I'll show that off. And her attack's more of like hold A until the star shows up. It's weird that you get Bombette in this dungeon, but it's easily, like, the worst dungeon for her. <laughs> like, you get Cooper right before this dungeon, and he's ten times better suited for it. Okay, so this is what happens when you try to body slam into a red bomb. So it does one damage to Bombette. It makes it so you can't use her for one turn. not the best but it uh it doesn't do like a whole a whole bunch like uh your party members don't exactly have health but if they ever do get hit by an attack or a hazard it just takes them out for how many turns that they took damage for so it's like rare that your party members ever get hurt in this uh game now the sequel <laughs> That was in your door, your party members actually have like HP and can get hurt in battle. So totally a different ball game there. 
back up the stairwell that we were climbing. We could do some backtracking, but the only one I can think of, well, maybe. The only one I can think of is there's a key in the prison cell room that requires Bombette to get, but you, you loop around back to that room anyways. Oh my god, please change party member. Okay. Alright, well we need another key. So, never mind, I think you do have to do some backtracking with Bombette. Yeah, first floor. Let's go this way. Yeah. Because you, you do backtrack to this room eventually. Um, which was party members. There we go. It's just, uh... I didn't know you needed it to get to the part where you do the backtracking, so... That solves that. We already grabbed the badge in there, so we don't need to go back and get that. Wait, did I need to go this way? No. That's the wrong way. First floor, door on the left, or right. You get my lefts and rights confused all the time. Got a little bit of left and right dyslexia. Up the stairs, if you can call the stairs. Second floor. Open the door. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Yoshi's not in this game, don't get excited. Well, that's not entirely true. Got a little bit of a puzzle here. Kinda gotta solve these moving platforms. But it's as easy as just passing through these walls and then hitting the next... switch. And then going forward from there. If you're not total klutz like me. Fall off the edge. I think this is what I was thinking of where you backtrack to this room. Because we have to go up here and then I think we go down. Hmm, yeah. Alrighty. Bam. I think this lowers these stairs. That allows us to get back to that uh, cell. That cell. <laughs> That's all the way on the uh, left in this room. So now we can hop up here. There we go. Bam. Switch back to Cooper, because Bombat makes me angry. She has uses, don't worry, guys. <laughs> She has uses outside of this dungeon. It's just when facing these enemies, she doesn't have a whole lot of use. Um, okay. Let's hit this one. That's some big stairs. Okay. Alright. Takes care of those guys. Easy peasy. Continuing up here. I think there's more enemies up on this floor? No. We can keep going. There's a badge up here with a uh, bomb on. This is Smash Charge. When charged, Mario's hammer power goes up by two. So it's a badge that allows you to spend one of Mario's turns to increase the attack power of his next hammer attack by two. Um, could be good. It has some uses against some heavy hitters. Uh, there are some things you fight later in the game that have like a ton of armor and sometimes using hammer charge is the only way to make sure that you're going to do any damage to them or using an item. It's one of those super situational badges. Wouldn't bet you'd make it this far. Pfft, don't get smug, pal. You just caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Cool as a bunch of cucumbers. 
And cauliflower. Yeah, boys, open fire. And so we have bullet bills. Bullet bills are pretty easy. Um, this is a good area you can farm experience in, actually. I think they only give one experience each. We'll see. But I will, uh, I'll fight a couple of them just to, uh, show them off. So, I think they only have two health, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, most of your attacks will one-shot them. I think the problem is, though, that they, they kill themselves as well when they attack you. Um, that could be one of the downsides to fighting them. Actually, you know what? If you had Goombario during this part, that would be like... Mm -hmm. That would make it so that you can do these without taking damage. But I definitely want to try to get a level up here. I'm gonna switch to Goombario, actually. And there we go. That's the level up. I'm gonna grab BP this time. So there's a couple of badges that I want to equip. Got a health restore and a save thing down here. Um, first off, power bounce. I definitely want to get that. Um, I could do power jump or smash charge. One FP. Unlimited times, but power fades after the attack. So that's another benefit to smash charge. You can use it as many damn times as you want to keep raising the attack power by two and do some incredible damage with it. But it's totally up to you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use Cooper for this fight. You actually can use Bombat and make some of this a little bit easier. But uh, yeah, as you see, Dizzy did not work on them. Um, I'm gonna charge up my hammer because I forgot how much armor these guys have. So let's see. Okay, so they have one armor. And as you can see, they, uh... Ugh. Power Bounce ain't gonna do much against them. So I'm gonna do a Power Shell. That way I can get rid of all those bullet bills they just spawned. Should do three damage. Yeah. I think they only have four health, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Easy peasy. Now that it's 2v2, I can just use my turn to get rid of uh, any bullet bills they summon. And then they have to spend a turn to kind of recharge, basically. Maybe they have... No, they have four health. I was like, maybe they have three health, but maybe not. Pretty sure they have four health. So if I had, like, spent a ton of FP just charging on my hammer, I could basically one-shot these guys. And I guess, to a certain extent, there are some bosses later that you could one-shot if you charge it up enough. But, uh, it's all just a matter of how you want to play Mario, and different combinations of badges can completely change or alter your playstyle that you do. It's crazy how much, like, how much power is behind, like, the badge system, even with it being so simple. Okay, health, save spot, that usually means that we got a boss coming up. So let's go. Man, Mario, I see your ass hiding back there. You guys ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg. Ow, my shell, get off. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, for the love of... What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready. Fine. Let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah. And so we have Bowser. Wahaha, I've been waiting for you, Mario. 
Blah ha ha heart. <coughs> the strongest and the coolest. Behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser. It's time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you. Save him, Peach. Oh, please. Watch this and weep. So, here's our chapter one boss. Um, you know what? I actually don't remember if this guy's armor or not. I'm gonna switch to Cooper and see if he does. Okay, so he has one armor, so he negates one damage that he is dealt. Is this worth it? Uh, yeah, we'll do it. Ooh. Wah ha ha ha, I am invincible. You are powerless before me. Let's charge up again. Oh, baby. Okay. What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny. You can't even touch me. It sounds more like an old miner. Oh. Oh, my lord. Wah ha ha ha. Oh, ha ha. You're so weak. Oh, oh I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Mario really thinks that we're King Bowser. Shh, Mario hears. Totes McScrotes, guys. You had me fooled. I think he doesn't have a whole lot of health left. Oh no, that costume was perfect. Bowser loved it. Here come the Koopa Bros. Okay, Mario, have a taste of this. The Koopa Bros special super spinning attack. Oh, timing on that's tough. Uh, it does as many damage as there are Koopa Bros left, so the more you kill, the easier this fight gets. Oh, that's right. You need a you need something to knock him forward. I probably should have used hammer right there. Whoa, we're going over. Dang. So we're going to use hammer to make him unsteady. Shell toss. This should knock him over. They're vulnerable. Kick their dicks in. Should do three damage to all of them. Yep. Yeah. And now we're gonna use power shell to do another two damage to all of them. And that kills him. 32 experience. Whoa. Mission success. Hey, hello. Somebody let us out of here. <laughs> and just like that, we save the day. That's our first star spirit saved. Ladies and gentlemen, give yourselves a round of applause for watching. <laughs> End of chapter. And so, Mario and friends beat the Cooper Bros at their fortress and rescued the first Star Spirit. Still, six Star Spirits remain imprisoned and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course, Princess Peach, lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. So, as promised, I'll do the Peach segment 
Even though this is technically supposed to be the start of chapter two, I'll do the peach segment at the end of each uh, dungeon episode, I guess. I wonder what Mario's doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. He'll be alright, princess. Why, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. But there are tons of guards just beyond your door. And it's impossible for you to escape through the window. Oh, wait a minute. I remember the minister telling me that there was a secret passage out of this room. Twink, help me look for it. Cool, great idea. So, if you touch this suspicious looking picture... Turns into a switch. That allows us to escape. Now we can get out of this room. So we kind of have, like, epilogues, like I said, where you play as Princess Peach and you kind of get to explore the castle a little bit. Um, and there's, like, tasks you have to do every day. Or at the end of every chapter that progress and give you hints towards the next chapter. Where are we? Hey, look at this. Looks like somebody left a private diary just laying around. Should we read it? Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Oh, okay then, very quietly. Let's see. Day zero, zero, month star, sunny. Today I went to Star Haven and stole the star rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool. I also captured those seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work, and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was a nice, but a bit bland. I feel like I might know the person who wrote this. Should we read more? Yeah, let's read. Okay, let's continue. Day zero X, month star. Cloudy, then sunny. Today was great, diary. I used the castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Then I barged into Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah, yeah unbelievable. I know, so fun. And then more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach. I couldn't be happier, diary. I hope she likes me. Princess Peach, this is Bowser's diary. <laughs> but gave it away. Yes, let's keep reading. Day X, X, month, star, sunny. Well, the Koopa Bros got beaten by Mario, diary. He even set the free that stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario can save the star spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. To do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the saints and then find dry, dry ruins in dry, dry desert. How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm, I'm going to go to bed now. Dry, dry ruins in the middle of dry, dry desert. One of the revered star spirits is being held there. Twink, do you think you can find Mario and tell him that? Yes, of course, Princess Peach. I'll find Mario right away. Oh no, I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out. It would be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing. <laughs> what? What's the princess doing here? Oh, you little snake. You read my diary. King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever. Take Princess Peach back to her room immediately. Yes, sir. Straight away. Forgive us, sir. No, put me down. Harassment. And that's that. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. Since you freed me from my prison, the seal of my power is broken and I will recover little by little. As long as an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. Mario can now use the star spirit's power in battle. Using a star power requires star energy. Would you like to listen while I'll tell you how to use star powers and star energy? No. I suggest that you listen. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. If the seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you the star power called the star beam. The star beam is the only thing that can counteract the star rod that Bowser wields. I may have to go back, or I have to go back now, Star Haven. 
I must leave immediately, but I'll always be watching you. Save us all, Mario. Always watch. Whoa. Calm your titties, Mario. There's another secret in Cooper's Fortress that I actually didn't get, um, that I will go back and get at the start of next episode. Uh, so that'll be all for today's episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. Thank you so much for watching. This has been your host, Aspirio on this channel. Bye-bye for now.